get ready to launch into the world of open source projects that are taking the tech universe by storm. In this video, we're diving into the hottest GitHub projects that are not just trending, but also transforming how we think about and use technology. From web automation wizards to database dynamos, we've got the inside scoop on the tools that are making developers' lives easier and more creative. So buckle up, because we're about to explore some serious coding magic that you can start using today. Stay tuned to discover how these projects can level up your coding game. Project number one, LeVague. Hey tech enthusiasts, ever wished you could tell your computer to do your online tasks for you? Meet LeVague, your new AI buddy that can navigate websites and perform tasks just by following your simple commands. It's like having a genie in your browser, ready to obey your every wish with a snap of your fingers. Imagine you're swamped with online forms that need filling out, or you need to gather information from several websites. Typing and clicking away can eat up your whole day. Enter LeVeg. Just tell it in plain English. No code needed. What you want it to do. Like, hey LeVeg, go to that sneaker website, pick the red sneakers in size 10, and check out with my saved details. And voila, it's done while you sit back and relax. LeVeg uses this nifty tool called Selenium. It's like a puppeteer that controls your web browser, making it click, type, and navigate like a pro. And then, there's the brainy part, the large action models, LMs, which are like the smart algorithms that help LeVague understand your tasks better. So why is LeVague so cool? Well, it not only saves you loads of time, but also opens up new ways to use the web, especially if coding isn't your cup of tea. Plus, it's open source. That means anyone can improve it, customize it, and even fix it if something goes wrong. But remember, even though LeVague is super handy, it's still learning. It might get confused with very tricky tasks, and you'd need to double-check its work, just like you would with a human assistant. It's designed for the web, so if you're looking to automate stuff outside your browser, Levog might have to take a rain check. In a nutshell, Levog is making waves in the world of web automation, giving you the freedom to automate boring web tasks and making the digital world more accessible for everyone. And who knows? Maybe in the future, we'll be chatting away with Lavagu as it helps us with even more complex tasks. For now, it's definitely a project to watch and use if you want to smarten up your web game. Project number two, full stack fast API template. All right, shifting gears from the AI web wizard, let's step into the shoes of a web developer with full stack fast API template. Think of it as your digital Swiss army knife for creating cutting edge web apps without the hassle of starting from scratch. Now imagine you have a killer idea for an app. You're buzzing with excitement but dread the thought of setting up everything. There are databases, servers, user interfaces, and so much more. That's where Full Stack Fast API Template swoops in like a tech superhero. It's a pre-assembled launch pad, combining Fast API for the back end, which is like the engine room of your app, with React for the front end, the sleek, user-friendly dashboard everyone sees and loves. But that's not all. This template is like a tech stew, mixing an SQL model for handling data, like a boss and Docker to pack your app into a neat, transportable container that can be plopped onto any machine without a fuss. And with GitHub Actions, you've got the automated robots ensuring everything's running smoothly before you show it off to the world. The best part? It's like getting a top-of-the-line sports car with everything included. Just hop in and drive. It's perfect for sprinting through the development phase with all the nuts and bolts tightened and ready to roll. Plus, you can jazz it up however you want since it's all built on modern tech that's constantly updated by a community of brilliant minds. Now hold your horses. Even though it's packed with features, there's a bit of a learning curve. You've got to get familiar with its components to truly harness its power. It's like learning to drive that sports car. It takes a few laps around the track. And since it's built for the web, if your project needs extend beyond that, you might need to tinker under the hood or bring in some extra gadgets. So, Full Stack Fast AP Template is your golden ticket if you're looking to bring web app ideas to life fast. It's like having a head start in a marathon, giving you the momentum to sprint towards success. Stay tuned for the next project that's equally thrilling for our tech adventure. Project number three, Suyu. Onto our third project spotlight. Say hello to Suyu, the cool new kid on the block for game enthusiasts. Picture this, you're a fan of Nintendo Switch games, but you're stuck because you can't take your console everywhere. Su Yu, coming from the same brilliant minds behind the Yuzu emulator, is here to shake things up. Think of an emulator as a kind of magical portal that lets you play your favorite console games on your computer. Su Yu aims to be better, faster, and more robust, allowing you to dive into the colorful world of Switch games right from your PC. 
It's like having a secret key to unlock a treasure trove of games without needing the actual console. Suyu stands on the shoulders of Yuzu, learning from its achievements and challenges to provide a smoother gaming experience. It's crafted with C++, a language that's like the high-octane fuel for software, giving it the muscle to handle complex gaming graphics and mechanics. The developers have a big vision for Suyu. They want it to run on all kinds of computers, from your trusty old laptop to the latest powerhouse desktop. They're working hard to make sure Suyu is easy to use for everyone, whether you're running Windows, dabbling in Linux, or loving your Android tablet. The best part about Suyu, it's open source, which means it's not just a one-man show. It's like a community garden, where developers from around the world can contribute, add new features, and help fix bugs. It's constantly evolving, and because it's open for anyone to contribute, it has the potential to become the go-to emulator for Nintendo Switch games. Now, as exciting as Suyu sounds, it's important to keep a couple of things in mind. First up, the law. Emulators are legal, but downloading games you don't own, not so much. Always play it safe and respect the game's creators by using Suyu responsibly. And because Suyu is still a work in progress, expect some hiccups along the way. You might run into a bug or two or find that it doesn't yet work perfectly with every single game out there, but don't let that hold you back. The world of emulation is thrilling, and Suyu is an emulator that promises to bring your Nintendo Switch adventures to a whole new level. Keep an eye out as this project grows, because Suyu could soon be your ticket to gaming bliss, no Switch required. Stay tuned. Next up, we'll be diving into another exciting project that's making waves in the tech ocean. Project number four, MetaGPT. MetaGPT, which feels like a sneak peek into a future where software ideas spring to life almost as soon as you dream them up. Just think about expressing what you want in a simple sentence and watching MetaGPT turn it into a full-fledged blueprint for your next app or software. MetaGPT is all about bridging the gap between your big ideas and the nitty gritty of planning. You might say something like, I want a fitness app that tracks runs and recommends diet plans. And before you know it, MetaGPT could provide you with user stories describing how someone would interact with your app, competitive analysis to see where your app stands in the market, and even lay out a whole architecture of your future app's database and APIs. It's almost like having a seasoned software architect bottled up inside a program, ready to pour out their wisdom in code and diagrams at your command. The goal is to save you from the mind-numbing planning meetings and let you get straight to the fun part, actually building your software. But let's not forget that MetaGPT, despite its impressive premise, is still wearing its training wheels. It's working towards perfection but isn't quite there yet. For example, the details it provides may need a human touch to catch nuances or correct slight misunderstandings that a machine is still prone to make. Moreover, while MetaGPT aims to be your crystal ball for software planning, it's only as good as the instructions it's given. You need to be clear about what you want. Otherwise, it's like telling a confused genie your wishes and hoping for the best. So, while MetaGPT is marching boldly into the future of software development, remember it's a tool to enhance your expertise, not replace it. Think of it as a brilliant assistant that can turbocharge your planning phase, but still relies on your guidance to really nail what you envision. Ready for the next project? We're jumping from the world of planning into the arena of screen recording. It's going to be quite the show. Project number five, GPT Pilot. GPT Pilot is like having a super smart coding buddy right in your workspace. Imagine you're sitting there, staring at your screen, wondering how to start on your coding project or solve that pesky bug. And then, voila, GPT Pilot steps in, ready to tackle the problem with you, using just a simple description in English of what you need. This tool is pretty revolutionary because it's designed to understand your commands and turn them into code. Need a quick function to sort a list? Just ask. Or perhaps you're scratching your head over why your app keeps crashing. GPT Pilot can dive into the code with you, suggest fixes, and even explain complex concepts in a way that makes sense. It's like having an expert developer by your side, ready to help out with whatever you need, making the whole coding process smoother and more intuitive. But it's not just about generating code. GPT Pilot is also about learning and exploration. Ever been curious about how to implement a new algorithm or use a library you're not familiar with? Ask GPT Pilot, and you'll not only get code examples, but explanations and best practices too. It's like having a mentor who can guide you through new territories in coding, expanding your knowledge and skills as you work on your projects. However, remember that GPT Pilot is a tool to assist, not to do your job for you. While it's incredibly smart, it doesn't replace the need for you to understand your code deep. Think of it as a co-pilot. It's there to help navigate and offer suggestions, but you're the one in charge of the journey. 
And just like any tool, it's not perfect. You'll need to review its suggestions, make sure they fit into your project correctly, and sometimes teach it a thing or two about what you really need. GPT Pilot represents a step towards a future where AI and developers work hand in hand, making software development more accessible, efficient, and dare I say, even more fun. With tools like GPT Pilot, we're not just coding, we're co-creating with AI. And now, let's shift gears and dive into our next project, Hello Algo, where learning data structures and algorithms becomes an adventure. Project number six, Hello. Algo Hello Algo takes the often daunting world of data structures and algorithms and turns it into a fun, interactive adventure. Imagine stepping into a virtual classroom where instead of pages and pages of dense text, you're greeted with colorful animations that bring to life the concepts you're trying to learn. That's the essence of Hello Algo. In programming, understanding data structures and algorithms is like learning the alphabet and grammar of a language. It's essential, but let's face it, it can sometimes feel like a chore. Hello? Algo changes the game by saying, hey, let's make this exciting. How? By showing you exactly what's happening under the hood with lively animations and giving you a sandbox where you can play, tweak, and see the immediate impact of your changes. It's learning by doing and seeing, which sticks with you way longer than just reading about it. Whether you're a visual learner who thrives on diagrams and illustrations, or someone who learns best by getting your hands dirty with code, Hello Algo has something for you. It breaks down barriers to learning by offering code examples in multiple programming languages. So, whether you're a Python fan or a Java junkie, you're covered. This approach not only makes learning more inclusive, but also allows you to translate theoretical knowledge into practical skills in the language you're most comfortable with. One of the coolest things about Hello Algo is that it's an open source project. This means it's free for everyone and grows through contributions from people all around the world. It's a collective effort to make learning as accessible and engaging as possible. As the project evolves, it continues to add new animations, more code examples, and even more languages, making the learning experience richer and more diverse. In essence, Hello Algo is your friendly neighborhood guide to the sometimes intimidating world of data structures and algorithms. It makes learning not just easier, but genuinely enjoyable, proving that with the right approach, even the most complex concepts can be engaging. So, if you're ready to tackle data structures and algorithms in a whole new way, Hello Algo is waiting to start the journey with you. Now, let's prepare to dive into our next project, Tebel, and discover how it's changing the game in the database world. Project number seven. Tebel Tebel promises a revolution in the world of databases, making a bold claim to be super fast, real time, professional, and perhaps most intriguingly, no code. Imagine managing your data without having to write a single line of SQL. That's the future Tebel is envisioning for its users. Tebel's no code interface is its standout feature. In today's fast paced world, not everyone has the time to learn complex database query languages. Tebel addresses this by allowing users to create, manage, and interact with databases using a simple, intuitive visual interface. This could be a game changer for small business owners, creative professionals, or anyone who needs to store and manipulate data, but doesn't have the technical background traditionally required for such tasks. The project also emphasizes real-time updates, ensuring that any change made to the database is instantly reflected across all users. This feature is crucial for collaborative projects where team members need to have access to the latest data without refreshing their pages or rerunning queries. It's about keeping everyone on the same page, literally and figuratively. Speed and performance are at the core of Tebel's design philosophy. The project claims to handle data operations with impressive efficiency, which could significantly improve user experience and operational productivity. Fast data retrieval and manipulation can make a big difference in customer satisfaction and business agility. As an open source project, Tebel encourages community involvement. This means users can not only take advantage of a no-cost database solution, but also contribute to its development, helping shape the tool according to real-world needs and feedback. It's a collaborative effort that has the potential to rapidly evolve and adapt to user requirements. In conclusion, Tebel presents an exciting vision for the future of database management, promising to democratize data handling with its no-code, real-time, and user-friendly approach. While it's wise to keep an eye on the development and community feedback, Tebel could very well be on its way to becoming an indispensable tool for users who have long sought a simpler way to manage their data. Stay tuned as we explore the next groundbreaking project in the open source community. Project number eight, CAP, introduces a sleek, user-friendly solution for anyone needing to create high-quality screen recordings without the hassle typically associated with such tasks. 
Envisioned as a versatile tool, CAP caters to a broad audience, from educators creating online course materials to professionals preparing presentations or tutorials, and even gamers wanting to capture their epic wins. At its core, CAP prioritizes simplicity and ease of use. The creators of CAP understand that not everyone who needs to make screen recordings is tech savvy, which is why they've developed an interface that's as straightforward as it is effective. With CAP, initiating a screen recording is just a matter of a few clicks, making this tool accessible to users of all skill levels. One of the standout features of CAP is its promise of visually appealing results. Whether you're capturing a live stream, a video call, or a software demo, CAP ensures that your recordings are crisp and clear with smooth playback that mirrors the quality of the on-screen activity. This focus on quality means that your audience, whoever they may be, receives a viewing experience that's both engaging and professional. Furthermore, CAP emphasizes effortless sharing, understanding that a screen recording's value often lies in its distribution. Whether sharing a tutorial with students, presenting a project update to colleagues, or uploading a gaming victory to social media, CAP streamlines the process. This ease of sharing not only saves time, but also enhances the collaborative possibilities of your recordings. Additionally, CAP's cross-platform compatibility signifies a commitment to accessibility, allowing users across different operating systems to benefit from this tool without encountering compatibility issues. In summary, CAP represents a fresh take on screen recording software, promising quality, simplicity, and ease of sharing. For anyone in search of a hassle-free way to create and distribute high-quality screen recordings, CAP is certainly a project worth exploring. Let's keep an eye on how it develops, as the community's input could turn CAP into an indispensable tool for educators, professionals, and content creators alike. Now, let's move on to discover what other innovative projects the open-source community has to offer. Project number 9, Ensta Ensta, presents an innovative solution for individuals and businesses looking to harness the power of automation on Instagram. With the advent of social media as a pivotal platform for marketing, customer engagement, and personal branding, Ensta steps in as a Python package that simplifies the automation of various Instagram tasks. This tool is especially enticing for those who seek to manage their presence on Instagram more efficiently, be it through scheduled postings, bio updates, or even direct messaging. Ensta leverages Python, a programming language renowned for its simplicity and versatility to offer users the ability to automate actions on Instagram with ease. The package enables you to schedule and automate the posting of photos and videos, ensuring your content strategy remains consistent without the need for manual intervention. Imagine being able to plan out a week's worth of posts over a coffee break, freeing up valuable time for other important tasks. Moreover, Ensta allows for the swift updating of Instagram bios, a feature particularly useful for individuals and brands that frequently update their bio to reflect current promotions events, or milestones. While Ensta promises to streamline Instagram management significantly, potential users should approach it with an understanding of several key considerations. Firstly, a basic knowledge of Python is necessary to utilize the package effectively. This requirement may limit its accessibility to those unfamiliar with programming. Secondly, users must navigate the ethical and legal implications of automating social media interactions ensuring compliance with Instagram's policies to avoid account restrictions or bans. Furthermore, the security of user credentials and the privacy of direct messages are paramount. As with any tool that interacts with social media accounts, users should ensure that Ensta adheres to best practices for data security and privacy. In conclusion, Ensta represents a promising development for those looking to automate their Instagram tasks, offering both efficiency and a potential increase in engagement. However, its effective and responsible user requires a balance of technical know-how, ethical considerations, and adherence to social media guidelines. As the project evolves, it will be interesting to see how it adapts to the dynamic landscape of social media and the needs of its users. Project number 10, the Data Engineering Handbook. The Data Engineering Handbook is a goldmine for anyone looking to dive deep into the world of data engineering. Compiled by Data Engineer IO on GitHub, this open source project serves as an essential guide for beginners and seasoned professionals alike. The handbook aggregates a vast array of resources, including articles, tutorials, and best practices, making it a one-stop resource for mastering data engineering. At its core, data engineering is about building and managing the systems that allow data to be collected, stored, and analyzed. 
With the explosion of data in recent years, the role of data engineers has become increasingly critical across industries. The Data Engineering Handbook provides insights into the foundational concepts of data engineering, such as data warehousing, data lakes, ETL, extract, transform, load, processes, and big data technologies. These concepts are crucial for anyone looking to understand how to handle data at scale and make it accessible and useful for analysis. Moreover, this handbook delves into the technical tools and frameworks that are the bread and butter of any data engineer. Whether you're interested in learning about Apache Spark for processing large data sets, Apache Kafka for real-time data streaming, or how to design efficient data pipelines, this handbook has got you covered. It serves as a bridge between theoretical knowledge and practical application enabling readers to apply what they learn in real-world scenarios. One of the standout features of the Data Engineering Handbook is its emphasis on best practices. Data engineering is not just about technology, it's also about strategy, governance, and ensuring data quality. This handbook provides valuable advice on how to build scalable and reliable data infrastructure, manage data lifecycle, and ensure data privacy and security, which are increasingly important in today's data-driven world. The collaborative nature of this open source project means that it's continuously being updated with the latest developments and trends in the field. The world of data engineering evolves rapidly, and having a resource that keeps pace with these changes is invaluable. In conclusion, the Data Engineering Handbook is an exemplary resource for anyone interested in the field of data engineering. Whether you're just starting out or looking to expand your knowledge, this handbook offers a wealth of information to guide you on your journey. As the data landscape continues to evolve, Resources like this handbook are vital for staying informed and mastering the art and science of data engineering. Let's keep exploring and pushing the boundaries of what's possible with data. And that wraps up our exploration of the top trending open source projects on GitHub this week. From AI assistance to no-code databases, each project offers a unique opportunity to dive deeper into the world of technology and innovation. If you found these insights helpful and want to stay ahead in the tech game, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. More exciting content is on the way, so stay tuned and keep coding.